now to Alabama politics. Governor Ivey in Mobile today and a topic on everyone's mind, the new I-10 bridge over the Mobile River. Well, News 5 has heard from several sources that there may be progress in the construction, but the governor's office did not want to talk about it. News 5's Emily DeVoe traveled with the governor today. Emily, what were you able to figure out? Well, this all started really when we heard rumblings that a decision might have already been made to form a public-private partnership to come up with the rest of the money for the project. So we wanted to see where the governor stood on this. After all, this is one of the most talked about projects here on the Gulf Coast. And while today we learned a lot about it from other officials, nothing from the governor. In a caravan of SUVs, Governor Ivey made multiple stops around Mobile. The visit, part of her statewide Listen, Learn, Help, and Lead tour, was aimed at learning the needs of the community. And if there's one project many here say they need, it's the I-10 bridge. We'll actually have a briefing on the I-10 bridge by Vince Calametti. But as Jimmy Lyons told us, said, you know, with commerce going east and west, uh, we will stifle uh, and choke commerce uh, and you will stifle growth if you don't have the bridge. The briefing the mayor mentioned was supposed to come in a closed door lunch meeting. When we asked the governor about the project at her hospital press conference, she didn't say much. A lot of people are interested in the bridge and you visited the port this morning. What is the status there? We're going to have a full discussion about that at lunch, I believe, and have an update at lunch, so stay tuned. Okay. <laughs> But the update from the governor never came. We were told she'd no longer speak to the media. And when we tried to ask the same question again after lunch, Speedy, you can uh, you can come on out. Thank you. Come on, let's go. We were abruptly kicked out. Vince Calmetti, the regional engineer for Aldot, was able to give us an update beforehand, saying a private-public partnership is something they're strongly considering. Yes, that would bring a toll portion to it. Um, this bridge is going to be very expensive, mm -hmm. and it's going to be uh, more than twice what the state's annual transportation budget is. Mm -hmm. So it's just not something that we can afford from our state or federal funds. So we have to look at innovative ways to produce the project. A project the governor wouldn't speak about publicly during her visit. The governor's office gave us this statement saying, in part, media members were invited to attend other portions of the governor's visit as observers. But questions from the media were not taken to allow invited elected officials and local leaders to speak to the governor and, not for, and for her to hear directly from them. Well, we've been with the governor throughout the entire event from 9 o'clock in the morning, and this is not a controversial project, and our question wasn't, uh, wasn't addressed during the press conference. As a reporter, really our job is just to answer questions for you, so that way the next time you're driving down the Bayway, you can at least know where the governor stands on the project. Reporting live in downtown Mobile, I'm Emily DeVoe, News 5.